Alright, all right, it's your boy Life of Darius, aka Dre the Martian, and we are back. We're back today with the singles, man. The hits, the number ones, the joints that didn't make the album. We got Past Masters Volume 1, man. That was a little iffy, but yeah, <laughs> let's go. I ain't re-recording that intro, man. Listen, it's your boy Life of Darius. We're here today, man. We got Past Masters, finally, man. A very, a very important uh, piece of lore in the Beatles saga, right? Actually, probably the most important piece of lore outside of the albums, and that's the singles. The singles that didn't make the albums. Uh, the, the Beatles was doing some weird shit in the 60s. Yes, we are back. We are back, and I promise I'm not going to take too much of y'all time on the intro today, man, but I do just want to say thank y'all, right? Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all, man, just for the support on everything I've been doing, like the, the Beatles videos, the Led Zeppelin videos, the Patreon, like everything has been doing... A lot better than I expect it to do while I'm doing it, if that makes sense, right? So that's a great feeling, right? To, to everything that you do to surpass your expectations and to, you know, hopefully continue building this little platform that we got over here, man. Life of Darius, Darius Devon, Dre the Martian, whatever you want to call me. But we here. Yeah, thank y'all. Don't slide. On that back patting aside, though, man, y'all know what we're here for today, man. Past Masters. Just this one, though. We don't got this two today, man. We'll, we'll get to this two a little later down the road, man. We got this one. About 18 tracks, I think, 18 tracks, 45, 43-ish minutes, and I don't think I know any, I, I do know she loves you, I know she loves you, she loves you is one of the greatest pieces of, of media ever created in my opinion, right, she loves you is just, that song could do no wrong to me, right? But yeah, everything else on here I, I'm just not familiar with, like, in any way, shape, or form, and that's a good thing, right, because that makes this past masters an experience. Right, I kind of like how they leave the biggest songs off of these albums. It creates like a whole other universe in the many Beatles universes that there already are. So that's it's cool. Right, I don't know what I expect from this musically because you know the Beatles made good music, but these are still singles from the time where the Beatles were. You know, I don't know if I say teeny bopper, but you know, very tweeny, right? At least for the first half of this, right? I think that's what I'm going to be looking for through this album is how the sound, just like I did with the actual albums, now I'm going to do it with the singles and just hear how the sound progresses, like how the singles, I know they're going to start doing crazier shit. I know these first couple songs might start off simpler and it's just going to get grander from there on, man. And that's, that's what I'm looking for on this one, man. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. My brain's kind of scrambled, but yeah. It'd be funny in the comments where y'all tell me, hey, man, you got to spark up before you listen to this album, though. Hey, if you listen to this album, you got to be up there, though, man. It's like, bro, y'all ain't got to tell me. <laughs> so, I don't know if y'all noticed. Y'all do not have to tell me to spark up. Trust me. It's, it's going to happen. <laughs> Either way. But anyway. <laughs> We're here today with Past Masters Volume 1 and 2. And I do have some additional thoughts on help. Right? I'm probably going to save those for the Rubber Soul review. I know y'all wondering when Rubber Soul going to drop. I'm recording Rubber Soul the day after I record this video. Now, I don't know when it's going to drop. Right, but the streets are gonna get rubber soul very soon, man. If you're seeing past masters, you should be seeing rubber soul very soon after, man. On, on slime, but yeah, gotta get better at these intros, y'all. But yeah, we here, past masters, volume one and two. And I do want to surprise y'all with one more tidbit before we get into the album. I'm doing something that I never normally do, and that's doing research. Life of Darius is doing research, providing context to this album because I do think these songs need context, right. So I found a website, um, udale.edu. Um, I don't know what university Udale is. I don't know if that's like University of Delaware East Liverpool or something like that, but I'm on udale.edu. And it seems like they have a pretty comprehensive list of all the singles. Like every song that's on this one on here, I see on this list. But then the even cooler thing is that they also have the A side and the B side. So we see which tracks are connected to which and it just gives me a better idea what album was supposed to, what song was supposed to go to each album, right? Because listen, man, I do like coming into these uh, reactions with just a clear mind, just letting my thoughts flow, letting the music speak to me, and then speak to what I hear from the music. But you can't do that with every album, man. This one is in particular. I need to know what songs go with which. Whoops, like I, I ain't that stubborn, y'all. Come on now, but yeah, we here today. <laughs> Fast Masters Volume One, Track One. We got Love Me Do. The single version Okay I guess, I guess I do know Another song off here Cause I definitely know Love Me Do For Please Please Me uh, Classic Anyway Track number one Love Me Do The single version Let's get to it y'all Harmonica's is back <laughs> Love Me Do Whoa. Love Me Do what are drums? I oh, don't know. I think I prefer the album. Okay. All right. That was an interesting way to start off past Masters. Was, well, obviously, it's a single. It was the single version. But that's 
Okay. Okay, so that was track number one, Love Me Do, the single version. And, I mean, good track, right? Love Me Do is a good song in and of itself. But I definitely prefer the album version because this version right here, like, the the drums weren't smashing for real, bro. That's what I liked about the album version was, like, it, it sounded like Ringo was mad at the drums. But then come to find out, Ringo didn't even do the drums for that song. And that's just, like, it's a little fucked up because if Ringo didn't do the drums for the album version with the good drums... Did he, did he do this version with the, the muted drums? Like, the drums was, I, I heard the drums, and they was just like, you know what I'm saying? They was like 30 feet away from me. Like, I, I, like, I don't know what was going on with that one. The mixing on that was just a little weird, but I, I should expect that. This is early 60s music, right? So, obviously a good song. Can't say anything too bad about it, man. It's, it's Love Me Do, bro. Like, please. Like, come on, bro. Like, good song. We just, need, we just need them Andy Lee drums, man, not them Ringo drums. That's tough. We need them Andy Lee drums. Damn. Anyway, though, we are on to track number two from me to you. And let me, you know, let me identify what album, because I think we're in the Please Please Me era now. So, Please Please Me, Ask Me Why, From Me to You, Thank You, Girl. So, okay, so these next two tracks were the A-side, B-side, and then I'll get you. Okay, so I think the next three songs are from the Please Please Me era. Okay, I think until we get to I Want to Hold Your Hand. So, we're in the Please Please Me single vibes right now. We're going to start off with From Me to You. I mean, I'm gonna see what the Beatles was talking about in their early days, you know, when they were still at the, the pubs of Liverpool. I don't I don't know if they really was there, but I just like saying that. But yeah, man, track number two from me to you. Let's get to it, y'all. Yeah. Intro was nasty. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, the Beatles know they dead wrong for having that loud ass harmonica in there, bro. What is y'all trying to do to man? Anyway, that was track number two <laughs> from me to you. And I will say a good song right there. I, I like the way they came in. All right, with the la da 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 da. I'm kind of sad we didn't hear that for the rest of the song, but a nice little earworm. That's something that'll keep me keep people coming back to the song to hear that first part a little bit. I, I get what the Beatles be doing by teasing us like that, right? But besides the intro, I think John did a really good job with this song, especially vocally. Um, the harmonicas. I like I like John with the harmonica. I don't like John with the harmonica turned up to 200. Like I don't know. I don't know how that harmonica just got so loud in my headphones, but <laughs> Still a good song right there, man. We're two for two. I don't really know if I should be ranking these at these songs. Like, it's not an album, but I like that song. It's okay. I like For Me To You. We're going to get on to the B side of that track. We got Thank You, Girl. Let's get to it, y'all. Yeah? I like that part. Yeah. Mm. Turn me up, John. Hey, hey, ah, mm. yeah. What is that? Okay, all right. I like I like that little outro right there, man. Okay, okay. The outro was interesting. What was them little? vocals in the background it sounded like they was like hitting something to like make the vo the vocals echo off of something there and bounce but that's that's weird man i don't know anything about 60s tech man but good song right there from sir john lennon right john lennon right oh let me fix let me fix the whoops let me fix the whoops y'all jesus christ ah right, yeah that was track number so that was track number three thank you girl that's probably i mean it's cool but it's not one it would be one of my favorites if it was on please please me but that's a good song right there I don't think I was the biggest fan of like that melody that uh, John was using during his verses. That I'm in love with you, and you just know what I will do. Like I, I, that's not really my vibe right there. But besides that part, every other part of the song was pretty good, pretty solid, man. Big up John Lennon, man. Another <laughs> three for three right now with the singles. Right, we're on to track number four though, the big one. Ah, uh, yeah, this this the one right here. Now I said earlier in this reaction that I believe she loves you is the greatest piece of media ever created right and i'm standing by that man has there ever been anything so perfect right so rocking so 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 jubilant you know what i'm saying so turnt 
but also so innocent at the same time, man. Like, it's just a real innocent, fun, lit song, y'all. And we're about to listen to it right now. Okay, I had to make sure I was safe, y'all. But we're about to get into it right now. Track number four, She Loves You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get to it, y'all. She loves you, yeah. It sounds really terrible, by the way. That's the funny, that's the greatest part about She Loves You. That's how terrible it sounds. Oh. You know, yeah. 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 <laughs> Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Amazing song. Sounds like complete shit. Sounds like garbage in these headphones. But I think, yes. Okay. All right, that was track number four, She Loves You. And just an amazing song. Just perfection in every way, shape, or form. Maybe except for the sound. But I was just about to say, I think my theory, this is my theory. Y'all can tell me if I'm wrong. But I think the Beatles just recorded with so much energy, right? So much fervor so much passion that day that the speakers just couldn't handle it. Like, the speakers couldn't record this amount of just turntness at one time, man, if that make any sense. So I really think, like, the mastering actually adds something to it because it sounds like, bro, it sounds like I'm at a Beatles show. Like, I felt like I was, like, really, really, like, sitting front stage at a Beatles concert in 1964. That's the feeling that this song gives me. And a lot of these songs on here kind of have the live feel to it, especially Love Me Do, the single version, like... And I guess that was a lot of the Beatles' earlier stuff. Like, Please Please Me was pretty much a live album in and of itself. So I love it. We, we, I love that song. Best song so far. I don't think it's going to be a song on. This is my prediction. I don't think there's going to be a song on Past Masters. This one better than She Loves You. Right? I hope to be proven wrong. But this is the standard right here, man. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We on the track number five. I'll get you. Let's get to it, y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Imagine I. To pretend, but I'll get you, I'll get you in the end. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh yeah. yeah. I think yeah. that I'll get you, I'll get you in the end. Yes, I will, I'll get you, yeah. but I'll get you, I'll get you in the end. Yeah. Yes, I will. Yeah. You're gonna get a done. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, John, man, what's up with these harmonicas, man? They love the harmonicas in the 60s, man. All right. All right, that was track number five, I'll Get You, and another great song. It feels like the songs are kind of getting better and better with each single, man. This was probably, She Loves You Still My Favorite Song, but this might have been just the best, like, song so far, like, period, right? Yeah, you definitely start to get your first little taste of the Beatles build-ups, man, those signature moments that make these songs so addicting, and I can appreciate this song for that. And I also want to say, so these were the, the the four singles from Please Please Me. Thank you from me to you. Thank you, girl. She loves you and I'll get you like these. These are some good whoops, man. The Beatles was on something. <laughs> hey, whatever the Beatles was on when they was recording Please Please Me, man, it, it was just right, man. Because they was making banger after banger after banger. Okay, so good whoops right here in the Please Please Me section. We about to move on to the, is this the With the Beatles section? Hold on. What the fuck? Hold on. I want to hold your hand, this boy. Can't, oh. Okay. Okay, so I think I want to hold your hand, this boy. Hmm. I, I ain't going to lie, y'all. This list is not as comprehensive as I maybe thought it was, man. I don't see Long Tall Sally. I don't see Matchbox. I don't see a lot of whoops on here, y'all. I, I apologize, man. I'm, I'm going to try to get it right. Right? We're going we gonna to work under pressure right now, man. But I do know that these two songs are from the With the Beatles era. Right? I don't I don't know what's going on with these calm girl mid their hand see the I don't know what that is but I know that these two songs are from the with the Beatles era and we're about to get to that right now track number six I want to hold your hand let's go oh yeah I want to hold your hand hey. Yeah. 
Okay. All right. Beautiful whoop right there from Sir John Lennon, man. I think. Hold on, hold on, this boy. I think this was the um, when I was doing the number one songs of the '60s. This was the one that popped up, and I didn't know this whoop, man. And uh, I see why I was number one for sure. All right, that was track number six. I wanna hold your hand, and this song right here is for sure the most polished song we've heard so far. And it's kind of you can see the progression already. Every every song is just getting more and more polished, refined. The hooks are getting catchier, adding more build ups, bigger moments, man. Like this song. It, it, Yes. Okay. All right, and then John. John just bodied this thing vocally. This album right here is giving me another appreciation of how good of a vocalist John Lennon was. Like, we talk about all the other things surrounding just the character of John Lennon, man, but he was just really, really fucking talented, right? Just really fucking talented. And this was just John Lennon in his prime right here, man. We love that one. I want to hold your hand. I don't know if I like that more than she loves you, but... That's pretty close, man. I gotta hear it a couple more times. Let it let it dig itself into my brain. But that's a good one right there. Anyway, though, on to track number seven. Okay, um, this boy. The B sides. I want to hold your hand. This boy. Let's get to it, y'all. That boy. Mm. So this boy wants you back again. Yeah. Oh, and this boy. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Bruh, how is how is how is this not on with the Beatles, bruh? Like I understand, but like, bruh. Alright, that was track number seven, this boy, and I I was definitely talking out the side of my neck when I said she loves you would be the best song on Past Masters. That's very clearly in the past right now. This song is the best song by far. By far. When the song came on, I was kind of expecting something in the vein of, like, Anna, go to him. And this is kind of what we got. But John just had, like, a moment in the middle there where he just lost his mind. He said, man, man the f- bruh, I'm John Lennon, man. Let me, let me let these vocals soar real quick. And it was just a really beautiful moment in the middle of just a beautiful song, right? Now, when it comes to the Please Please Me tracks, I think maybe I'll Get You could have added something to Please Please Me if it replaced, like, Chains or something. Like, Chains could have definitely been left off Please Please Me. But I want to hold your hand in this boy, bro. Like, why are you putting Little Child on the album and, and you got these in the background? Like, I understand that's not what they did, but missed opportunity, which I don't think, maybe not a missed opportunity because I'm sitting here in 2024 talking about them, but yeah, <laughs> for sure. This should have been on with the Beatles, man. Great song by uh, John Lennon. But we're on to track number eight. This, this, I've been looking at these tracks right here and they've kind of been befuddling me, okay? I'm really befuddled because Come Give Me Your Dying Hand. I don't know what's going on with these two right here. Track eight and nine. They're, they're definitely not on the single list. <laughs> so I don't know. We just go dive into them. I don't know what album they're supposed to be on. Yeah, let's go. Track number eight. Come Give Me Your Dying Hand. Yeah. There's no sound in my right oh, okay. Nah, 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 Listen, listen, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> we love the Beatles, listen, right? We love the Beatles on this side, man. We love Sir John Lennon, Mr. John Lennon, right, right? Paul McCartney, all them boys. But I'm not trying to listen to the Beatles. Is this, what is this, German, right? What, I don't know what language this is. But this is definitely, I want to hold your hand just in a different language. This is definitely German. Come, come, get, come, get Murdine hand. Yeah, this is German, now that I'm actually thinking about it. It was a really cool idea, but why is this on the album? Like, why is this on Past Masters, bro? I don't, I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear this ever again in my life, bro. Like, the Beatles are great, but I don't give a fuck if Michael Jackson dropped the entire Thriller album in German. Like, I still wouldn't listen to Thriller. It's the Thriller. Like, I'm not trying to hear that, bro. Like, nah, bro, we love you, Mike, but I don't, I want to hear you in, in English. You know what I'm saying? The King English. Things of that nature, man. But anyway, it's not looking like it's going to get any better because we're on the track number nine now. See, Lieb Dietsch. Um, looks like more German, but we're we going to check it out. Give it a chance. Let's go. Come on. Hey, hello. Salib D got a slap. No. No, 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 no. Okay, one thing I do want to say is this song still sounded great. 
in German, but I'm I'm just not for to waste my time with these two songs right here, man. I appreciate the Beatles um going worldwide, <laughs> John Lennon, Mr. Worldwide, but nah, man, I just slowed down the momentum after this, boy, man. I almost wish I didn't listen to them. <laughs> but anyway, all right, yeah, moving on. We got track number ten. Now I'm assuming track ten through okay. Let me see. When is the first Hard Days Night single? Can't buy me love. You can't do that. A hard day is night. Things we said today. I feel fine. She's a woman. Is I feel fine on hard days night. Yeah, that's hard days night. So I'm gonna say ten through fourteen is hard days night. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say ten through fourteen is probably hard days night, and then um, fifteen through eighteen will probably be um, help. Rubber Soul, I mean, oh, oh, oh Beatles for Sale. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not acknowledging Beatles for Sale. I'm just going to assume this is uh, Hard Day's Night of Help right here. That's what we're going to assume. If I'm wrong, y'all going to correct me. But anyway, track number 10, we got Long Tall Sally. Let's get to it, y'all. I'm going to tell it, baby, Bob Uncle John. Yeah. Sally had to miss it, Bob, baby. Yeah, Paul. Yeah, baby. What's good, Paul? Talk to me. Yeah. They going crazy in the background. Hey. Hey. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Much needed pick me up after the last two tracks, man. Was that? Was that the first Paul joint? I hope I had no death moments on the first half of this album because that sounded like the first Paul joint on here. I'm probably not though. All right, so that was track number ten, "Long Tall Sally." I do just want to say, even though I love this song, this song was definitely streaming cover. All right, this this had to be an old school rock and roll that they did right here, but they did it justice, right? Even though I never heard the original version. I'm going to just assume the Beatles did it justice, because when do they not do it justice, right? All right, there's been a whole lot of John on here, a minuscule amount of Paul, man. Where, where, where Ringo? Right with George Harrison, man. They ain't had no whoops. <laughs> they ain't dropped no singles before, man. I know they got a couple of singles, man. They had to, man. I'm, I'm anticipating it, but I'm not going to hold my breath. <laughs> anyway, though, great song. Great pick-me-up after the uh, the worldwide tour we went on on track uh, eight and nine. We got track number 11 right here, I Call Your Name. Let's get to it, y'all. But you're not there. Yeah, yeah this hard day's night era. Was I to blame? For sure. You hear them cowbells? Hey. I'm not hey. gonna make it. I call your name. Ow. Talk to me, John. Oh, uh, yeah, that guitar is nasty. Them chords is nasty. I don't know who can. Yeah. Like for Darius. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I, 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 Jesus Christ. Hey, my brain is getting scrambled from this album, y'all. I don't. Listen, out in track number eleven, I call your name. Another great song. Like, there are no bad songs on here besides the, the the foreign ones, right? But I do just want to say something, and I just want to like I, this, this is an honest channel, right? I love to be honest on this channel, right? And I do just want to say, as good as all this music I'm listening to on this is, I don't know if it's an enjoyable listening experience, right? Because listen, listen, hear me out. I love these songs, right? But it's kind of dragging because there's a lot of just John doing what John does on here. And that's cool for like seven or eight tracks on an album. And then you throw in some Paul Diddley, some George, a little Ringo whoop. Then it makes sense. But when you're listening to it in this form, <laughs> and it's just thrashing you song after song, just John going crazy with the harmonicas, the cowbells, the the weird guitar sounds, the the the, the grunts, the yelling, like it's just a lot. I'm telling y'all, this is probably what the Beatles feels like to people who don't like the Beatles, man. Just a lot of just it's just a lot. A lot of lovey dovey dewey dewey harmonicas, man. But anyway, track number twelve. We gotta slow down. Let's get to it, y'all. Sorry, some Beach Boy shit. Wanna go surfing? Baby, won't you walk with me? George. Come on, baby. Ow! If you want our love to last. This might be John Lennon, y'all. I said this was George. I can't call it. Okay. If you want our love to last. Ow! Okay, George. I ain't no George had this in Oh, no, this is John. Okay. Woo. <laughs> Woo was right, boy. That was a good song right there from Sir John Lennon, Mr. John Lennon, man. But I promise y'all I heard George Harrison out here, bro. I'm not stupid, bro. Hold on. 
you talk with me? Come on, pretty baby, give me one more chance. Try to save our romance. Nah, that's for sure, John, bro. Fuck. <laughs> Listen to like five, four or five hours now, y'all. I still can't get like, bro. Okay, John Lennon. Nigga song by John Lennon. <laughs> All right, so that was track number 12, Slow Down. That was definitely a good song. Probably picks the momentum up a little bit after I call your name. I mean, all these songs are good. It's just, this is not this is not meant to be listened to as a sit-down album, bro. You're supposed to just take your favorites off of here and rock with it. And I'm starting to notice that right now because it's getting a little grating. I don't think it would be this grating if I had some Ringo whoops, if I had some George whoops, if I had more than one Paul whoop, bro. Like like John, like he was hogging all the singles, bro. Like, chill. But yeah, all in all, great track. It's definitely been a lot of great rocker moments on here, like This Boy, Long Tall, Sally, Slow Down. I definitely enjoyed all those moments. This Boy, probably the most out of all of them, but good whoop right there from uh, John Lennon, man. We're on to track number 13, though. You got Matchbox. Let's get to it, y'all. In here watching Matchbox holding my clothes. Ringo! I said, I ain't got no matches, but I sure got a long way to go. Yeah, Ringo. Right, right. Two Ringos. Nah, don't ever say nothing like that, Ringo. Nah, I ain't rocking with that language. You big dog, Ringo. You big dog, Ringo. Don't ever call yourself little dog. Great song by Ringo right there, man. What a like beautiful song. I like Ringo. Ringo's voice is like real gravelly and, and just powerful on here. I like this one. Oh, yeah, that was track number 13, Matchbox, man. And a really good song right there from Ringo, man. The best Ringo song I've heard in quite a while since uh, <laughs> Please Please Me, right? All right, the only thing I didn't like was like the the the, the, the cuckish lyrics at the end, Ringo. You, you can't be going out like that, Ringo. Don't say, I'm, I'm little dog, and I'm going to be here till big dog get back. No, nigga, I'm big dog, Ringo. Ringo, you big dog, and you're going to be there till little dog get back. Nothing wrong with you, Ringo. Don't ever say, don't ever, don't ever do that again, Ringo. We're on the track number fourteen. I think we're in the um, help era now. I think uh, with track number fourteen, I feel fine. I don't, I don't know if any of these songs would have actually added anything to a hard day's night. Maybe slow down, but all in all, I think a hard day's night was perfect as it was, man. They ain't, they ain't need any of these whoops. That's just my opinion, right? But yeah, anyway though, on the track number fourteen, I feel fine. Let's get to it, y'all. Yeah, this chorus sound beautiful. This help era. I'm in love with her and I feel fine. Yeah. I'm so glad that she's my little. I like how they drop out the drums for this. She's so glad. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. All right. Now we're starting to get into the Beatles that I know and love, man. This is the Beatles. The, the amazing song right there. The best song we've heard so far. Which is exactly how it should be, right? Right, that was track number 14, I Feel Fine. And I think it, what this album lacks in a cohesive listening experience, so this is definitely not a cohesive listening experience at all, it definitely makes up for in chron like being a little mini chronicle of the Beatles progression, right? And we still got like four tracks to get through, but this song right here, this song sounded, I don't know, this has to be during the help sessions because this song sounds 20 times better than anything that came before it. Yeah, I'm really liking this one. This is one I could generally probably go on the playlist and not like ironically tongue in cheek. Like this is like a really great song right here. I feel fine. And I'm hoping that they take us home on on a really great note with these last four tracks right here. Cause I was getting a little burnt out, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, man. Still anywhere though. <laughs> we got track number 15, She's a Woman. Let's get to it, y'all. Don't give me pregnant. What? Don't get me pregnant. What do you say? It's like a, a sack, a sack full of like rocks. What the hell? What's this she's hell? She's a woman who understands. Well, she's a woman who loves a man. Fucking ball. Hey. Talk to me, George. Hey. Hey. She's a woman. Hey. Hey. She's a woman. <laughs> she's a woman. Okay. All right. Great. Great song right there from uh, Sir Paul McCartney, man. And we are, we're officially in the, the help era of the Beatles right here, man. This has to be help. 
because these last two songs, right, I've been listening to Help a lot lately, and these last two songs, like, I could listen to Help and then come and listen to these two songs and not notice the difference, right? And that's the first, to, like, like that's beautiful. Like, these songs hold up, and these definitely could have been on the album. I don't know if they were replaced on Help. There were definitely a couple weaker joints on there. Like, I don't know if we need it act naturally by Ringo, but we got to have a Ringo joint, right? So let, let, me, not, let me not do Ringo like that, but <laughs> all in all, I'm in a great Paul McCartney single right there. I definitely like that way more than Long Tall Sally. I don't know if I choose that over I Feel Fine. I definitely prefer I Feel Fine over She's a Woman, but still two great songs, man. I don't know what they had, like the little, what they had, the little hacky sacks in the background. I don't know, man. They was doing all type of weird shit in the studio, man. But we on the track number 16. We got, ooh, okay, we got 60 bad boys. Let's get to it, y'all. Hope this is a Ringo song. <laughs> Bad little kid moved into my neighborhood. Yeah. Mm. Now, Junior, behave yourself. Yeah. Every rock and roll book on a Mac. Well, this rock and roll has got to stop. Junior's head is hey. on the rock. Behave yourself. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There we go, Zach. Yourself. Ringo, smack the shit out that drum set, man. All right, man. Shout out Ringo. Shout out John. Beautiful song right there. All right, that was track number 16, Bad Boy. We're definitely keeping the momentum going, man. I, I, I don't think the Beatles were doing any wrong in the help sessions, and these last three tracks pretty much confirm that. Um, it's looking like we had to struggle through the first 13 songs just to get to the greatness. And there were these last five right here. We still got two more to get to, but all in all, I'm enjoying it, man. That was a crazy good rocker. From John Lennon right there, man. I think that's one of his the best rockers I've heard from this early era of John Lennon, man. Like, I love when he let loose like that. And like, even even the song that I didn't like, like rock and roll music, I actually liked that song. I just didn't like it in the album that it was in. But yeah, anyway. All right, we love to hear John and just complete let go, don't give a fuck mode like that. I'm rocking with it. It's not enough to say, man. I ain't here to review these tracks piece by piece, bro. I'm here to listen, enjoy, take what I take from it. And move on, man. Let's get to it, man. Track number 17, Yes It Is. Let's go, y'all. If you were red tonight, for red is the color that my baby wore. Scarlet were the clothes she wore. I would remember all the things we planned. But as my bride, yes, it is. Oh. Yeah. Talk to me. Please don't work in spite of you. It's true. Yes, it is. With you by my side. Wow. But it's my pride. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, John Lennon, man, that was a real, okay. All right, that was track number 17, Yes It Is, and that was a real, like, cathartic moment for me. I don't even know if that's the right word, y'all, but this just, like, it's crazy, because this was kind of like a mini version of what I've been doing with the albums, y'all. Like, how did they get from to, to, to this? In, like, two short years, bro, like, that's just mind-blowing to me, man. I'm going to just say this right now. I don't care. All right, this is by far the best song on Past Masters this one. We still got one more song to listen to, and this had, that definitely has a chance to take that spot because it seems like all these songs are getting better in the last five tracks right here. But this this has been my favorite so far. This is going in the playlist. It's not no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I, li I like what John and them did with this one. And then instrumentally, there were so many, like, beautiful, like, little tiny moments in there that they like didn't use again and it's like I like I like how they built this one up right here I like how they built this one up right here bang up job from the Beatles man but we're on the track number 18 man it's time to take us home Beatles we got I'm down let's get to it y'all I'm down I'm really hey I'm down down on the ground yeah. same old thing happen every day what's happening I'm really down talk to me Paul Hold on. I'm down. You know I'm down. <laughs> and this song all over the place. What instrument is that? Oh, wow. 
Bongo's coming in. Damn, Paul. <laughs> Paul couldn't just let John have his moment, man. I thought, yes, it is. Was gonna be peak <laughs> past masters. <laughs> that was amazing, man. All over the place, but an amazing way to outro the album, man. It was kind of like Paul doing his own little twist and shout type of vibe, man. I like that. All right, that was track number eighteen. I'm down. I'm very happy that we ended this project on a good note. A nice little five track. Beautiful five track win streak from I Feel Five to I'm Down. It felt like the songs just kept building, bro. I don't know what they was on in these help sessions, man, but, but you know, I need some of it. And I, I probably already got some of it in my house right now, so it don't really matter. But yeah, man, great song. And who was doing those background vocals? Not the not the harmonizing, but like the little I don't even know. I don't even remember what the background vocals was, but it didn't sound like a beetle <laughs> was in the background doing them weird noises. It was this song was real rocker, real psychedelic, like just real all. It was just a lot in one, right? A lot to process. I'm definitely going to listen to this song more. But our first listen, man, best song on the whole, best song, best song here by far, by, not by far, but the best song, y'all, definitely. All right, so that was Past Masters, this one, and I don't know what y'all want me to say, bro. Like, yo, the, the Beatles dropped good singles in the 60s, y'all. Like, oh, the, pff, shocking revelation today, y'all. The Beatles were dropping good music, <laughs> right? But it is interesting to come in and just hear these tracks, the tracks that were left off of certain albums, and think about what they could have added to each album, this, that, or the other. And I feel like outside of the Help singles and maybe the Please Please Me singles, with the with the Beatles singles, Hard Days Night singles, they could have kept those, but everything else definitely could have been added to the albums. Like I Feel Fine, Yes It Is, and I'm Down would have, would have sounded really good on Help to me. Those would have sounded really, really good on Help, right? But all in all, I like what I heard. You know what I'm saying? I've gotten the full context now to the um the first half of the Beatles discography, man, the baby Beatles, right? But y'all know what time it is now, man. It's, it's rubber soul time. It's rubber soul time, man. I'm ready. I've been anxious, anxious to get to this album, y'all. Trust me, I have. And y'all gonna get it, man. Ho hopefully, hopefully it's just as good as y'all been hyping it up to be, man. Because I don't want another Beatles for sale, y'all. I can't have no more Beatles. I can't have no more videos like Beatles for sale on my channel. <laughs> Let me just put out some favorites before we get out of here. I say she loves you. I'll get you. I want to hold your hand. This boy. Matchbox, I feel fine. She's a woman, bad boy. Yes, it is. I'm down. So like you know, like nine or ten out of the eighteen on here. It was it got a little iffy in the middle when they started doing the um, the 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 German shit, man. But it, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That's definitely enough John Lennon for one day for me though, y'all. This was this this is this one thing to show me besides the Beatles progression and how good the singles were is that the, the Beatles needed everybody because if, if 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 it was just John Lennon making albums sounding like this for thirteen tracks straight, they would have still been popular. But come on, bro. Anyway, man. <laughs> anyway, though. <laughs> With that being said, I'm going to build y'all a dude. It's your boy Life of Darius, a.k.a. Long Tall Sally, and I am ah Jesus Sandals, man.